We'll deal with her very fast. Please, don't do this. Stop. <laughs> There's a bit of a cutscene there. Um, that was basically supposed to be whoever we are, their brother in the past, showing um, him committing an act of animal cruelty with some of his friends. I'm not really sure why that's necessary. It's not at all relevant to the story. But yeah, it's fun, right? Makes you feel happy and warm inside. So we're in the scary room again. And we go up to the top and we walk along here, down to this door. There's a key on the door, open the door. Oh, the room is dark, the room is dark, what do you do? We turn on the light. Which Jen did not realize we were supposed to do at first. So, so that's 3, 3.10, 3.10pm. And we go back in the other room for another mini scene type thing. And I'm not sure how it's gonna, the movie's gonna process, but hopefully you'll be able to see the shadows, or else the little cutscenes will just kind of look like a red circle with voices to you guys. And I assure you, um, towards the end of this Let's Play, there's going to be a very neat cutscene. I greatly enjoy it, and I don't mind having to redo the scan just for the sake of watching it. And as long as it doesn't glitch, that's really cool. But here's that other short scene type thing. What's that sound? Damn, she ran away. Run, it's a watchman. I know the short way. There's a trap door in the old oven. Aha, uh -huh, like I said, trap door in the old oven. But that's the end of the talking in that scene. So, like the psychotic little boy said, there's a trap door in the oven. And as soon as it takes us back to the present, you'll be able to notice because that little light in the center of the door will stop flashing. But as soon as we go back, then we'll go in that room and climb in the oven. It's fun. It's not every day you get to climb into an oven. Really. I promise. Well... I, I really don't know about your personal lives. I'd hope you weren't climbing into an oven every day. Yep. There we go. So now we can leave. Go in here. Go over to the oven. Open it and climb inside. And another loading screen. Joy. Alright, um, we climbed inside the oven and it kicked us out here in the desert. The first thing we see is a dollum. Remember reading about those and I think it was this book. Megaliths. Yes! Dollums! Hooray! So we turn around. We're in a desert. I played through this part also so I know what to do. I just get caught up. Isn't that neat? So we're in the city in a desert and, well, I don't know if you can call the city, a little broken down town sort of thing. First thing we need to do is go in this office. Look at this. Take this map. This is the buildings that are in what used to be the city and it has the little blue arrow or the blue lines pointing to which little islands floating above the city belong to which building. Then this is the town electricity supply feeding scheme. We use that in a bit. We go back. This is a safe. You guys don't know the combination, but I do. But that doesn't even matter because I can't open it yet. See the islands I was talking about are those floaty thingies up there. So, mosey on down here. Turn to your right and take a rag. If you also look down on the little inventory section, down on the bottom, you can't really see it very well, but the time key is gone. 
so now we're gonna have, have to find other ways to get around this right here just a little water thing with the water pressure and so I'm sure we can't do anything with that yet um, you look down take the crowbar dun, da, da, go this way go across the street and deface public property oh I have a story um, kind of a story last night um, I was brushing my teeth and well I was about to brush my teeth and I was lifting the toothbrush to my mouth and somehow my toothpaste defied gravity and it went into my eye and I sat there temporarily blinded with an eye that smelled like mint for a while. It was, it was good fun. So I used the rag on the license plate after taking parts of the car and the license plate has 5 through 7 on it. Hmm. Now what was it that we needed that needed a code or a number scheme? That's right. The, um, the safe. So the combination for the safe is 537. Um, this is electricity supply box. You put the handle from the car on there. Shouldn't have done that. But you put all of these down. Put that in the center. Crank it once. Put it all the way over. Crank it twice. Just like Soldier Boy. Open it up. And look, power grid. Hooray! You don't actually do anything with this one, that's basically just showing you uh, you get to deal with power grids later. Also, in this little section here, since it's such a wide area, it's really picky about where it lets you walk. So I'm not going the long way just for the hell of it, so don't worry. Um, we can go in here first. A little streetcar. I can't play with any of that. But you go in here, you look down, and there's a canister. Which we happen to have a little jerry can, but it's empty, so we have to fill that. If we go down here, there's this machine. She can't do anything with it yet, but I will give you a hint. We put a mechanical embryo that I find under a picture of Jesus inside of it. And I promise I'm not shitting you. You will see soon. We talk to this guy. You can't really hear him. He talks really quiet, but his name is Animus. Um, he looks Amish, he's from Utah, and he's really pompous and stuck up, and you'll see in a moment. Basically right now he's just talking about how this used to be a big oil place, and now nobody's here, clearly, except for him. And he's really lonely, and he cries at night, but then he says, anyways, we have nothing to talk about, I know everything and you know nothing, because he's so awesome. Then he says, hurry up, a sandstorm's coming, a GTFO, nub. So, and that's about it. And that's, I think, as far as I know, that's all we really talk to him. So he doesn't do shit for us. Trying to, okay, sorry. Oh, he's talking, that's why I can't move. This direction. We go out, and we go over to this little park. Go over here, look down, look at the typewriter, take this. It's really not important, you don't need to know what that says, but what we do need is this, which is on the last page, and it is a map with an X in it. And we will go there when the time is right. Fountain with no water in it. So we go this way, look down, open this, turn that, and then go back up. Manhole. So we go over here, oh look, a grid, but it doesn't have a face. So, still rushing through all of this, I'm sorry. I just want to get this game done because, um, as far as... I've been told I'm really close to the ending and I want to start Penumbra soon. So, combination was 5, 7, no, it was 5, 3, 7. That was a lie, forget I did anything. Okay, so it was 5. I said it was 5, 3, 7. No, that was also a lie. I meant it was 5, 7, 3. Five, 